All right, folks, Technivorous here. Today we're going to be taking a look at how, when, and why to use the gradual infill settings on Kira. This can give you some amazingly fast print times and improve the amount of filament that you're using as well. In this case, this is a giant cube model I'm about to show you, and the reduction in used plastic and increase in speed is pretty phenomenal. So stay tuned. We're going to get into it right now. Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivers. Welcome, welcome folks. We are taking a look at gradual infill today, when and why to use it. Now on a model like this where the top is super flat, obviously you're gonna want something supporting that. That is a hell of a distance to bridge. So in this case, we are using a standard infill. You can see it is filling it the same from the bottom to the top and it is at about 20%, which is pretty standard, 15 to 20% range. But what if I told you we could reduce this two day, seven hour and 20 minute print time by half, as well as reducing the amount of filament we use by half. Right now we're using about 700 grams. Let's go down here and take a look and find the infill settings. In here you'll find a setting that is labeled infill steps. So, or gradual infill steps, excuse me. So it's right in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop in the number 10. And I'm just gonna show you what the difference is. So I'm not gonna change the height of these steps at the moment. So let's just slice this. We'll take a look here real quick. Basically, what's gonna happen is it's going to fill the bottom majority of the model with very, very little infill. You can see that, and it goes all the way down. So we scroll back up here, you'll see as it gets towards the top, it goes through a couple of steps of gradually increasing infill. And that's exactly what the setting is for. It slowly builds on itself. Now, those layers might not print the best, uh, but as they're building on each other, by the time they get to the top, they should provide a smooth surface. But we can increase the chances of success here. You can see we're down to 16 hours by increasing the gradual infill steps. So let's take this up. Uh, won't let me go all the way to 25. You can see it turns red there. And even if I change the height of the steps, it won't let me slice it. It says unable to slice right here. So we'll go back, we'll take that down to 15, which is gonna work pretty well. And then we will slice and I will show you that there's now more steps of the graduation in there. So basically the bottom part of the model is printing it like 2% infill and then it jumps to 3% and then 6% and it just builds until it gets to our 20% so it gets thicker towards the top now if we want to increase the distribution of these layers we are going to use a little more filament right now we're at 180 something grams if we go down here and we change this as high as it'll go um, well let's no let's take it down we're going to take it down we're going to start at five let's check our height Okay, so we're at 140 or uh, 14, 140 millimeters. Excuse me, I'm tripping on my tongue. So we'll, seven's easily divisible by that, and then we will do 20 millimeter layer heights. That way, we know it's even divisions all the way through there. So let's check not layer heights, uh, infill heights. So as I scroll through this, you should see a gradual progression uh, down towards less and less infill so basically it's using these infill lines to bridge these infill lines to bridge these infill lines and it gradually adds more and more but at the end of the day we are now at one day two hours and 28 minutes which is half of the time of our original print and we are using slightly less than half of the filament so you can increase your speed increase your output and save your filament by using the gradual infill it does work well on other models it doesn't need to be a cube uh, it's just one of those things where if you have a lot of top surfaces and you need that infill it's a great thing to use i mean you're saving we saved almost 400 grams of filament and a day of print time so that's going to be it, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Leave a like if you like this video, and let me know how you feel about gradual infill in the comments. Well, that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers, and so far I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel, but they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability 
to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.